Hey there, guys. Me name is Iso, and I'll be playing a game called Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening now. And I, apparently, I was going on a raging dig session earlier, so I'm gonna go in this castle now. Except uh, the gate's kind of closed, guys. We couldn't tell. There's a giant wall here made of uh, wood, and it's blocking my progress. I don't know what those are called. I think it rhymes with floor. I don't know. Anyway. Monkey with the mustache, how's it going, huh? <gasps> banana, banana, ooh, ooh, give to Kiki, yes, I'll give it to you. Banana, banana, ooh, ooh, Kiki, monkeys come, repay him, Kiki. Oh no, uh, monkeys, uh, 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 it's so disgusting, uh, gross, uh, monkeys, why are monkeys always gross? Monkey business done. Bye bye. Ooh, ooh, kiki. Ooh, ee, ee, ah, ooh, monkeys are jumping. Whoa! You found a stick! <laughs> you take it. Oh, yes, Link. Desperate for some sort of accomplishment in your life? That's what I thought. <gasps> Knights of the Round Order! Go for a swim. Oh man, hey, it doesn't do damage in this game. It does damage in the uncle games. Well, I mean, drowning shouldn't do any damage to you internally. Oh, how's it going? I want to talk to Ulrira just because. Bring, bring, yeah, it's Ulrira. You haven't found the five golden leaves? Try bombing suspicious places. Hope that helps. Bye. Wink. Click. Ah, good old Ulrira. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and that bird, upon closer inspection, reminds me more of a Goomba with wings. A Paragoomba, if you will, that spews out- oh, yeah, get away! <laughs> that spews out bombs, uh. Whoa! So this is a secret passage. So yeah, they look like Goombas. Well, they look like, uh, the Super Mario Bros. Mushrooms from the first game, more than anything, but, you know, that's comparable to a Goomba. So now we're under the ground, there's trees up there. Kill the Goomba, there's some- uh -oh. There's some spikes, you can fall right on the line. You might want to, like, wear some tough shoes, otherwise you might get scalded. Hello, Mr. Mr. Dark Nut. Dark n Nut. There we go. See, I was wondering. Push! You got a piece of power! I feel the powerful through me, I can swim really fast, so, uh, hey, who are you? Whoa, Bomber Man! Get out of that floor there. Oh! Whoa! I got a golden freaking leaf. Press start to see how many you've got. I have pressing start, and I'm seeing that I have one leaf and two musical instrument notes. I'll blow you guys to smithereens. Yeah, not after taking some severe damage first. Oh, but uh, yeah, I love slashing grass. It provides me with some nourishment. So really, that's still won't open. Hmm. Well, here's the entrance to the castle, but if there are some leaves outside, maybe there is another leaf outside somewhere. <laughs> I love it when they explode. It's just... Yeah, take that as you will. Um, crow! Crow? Crow. Oh, yeah, this is a situational crow. It'll get pissed off later. Not right now, though. No, wait, I have to throw a rock at it, don't I? Yes! See? This game is, like, full of, like... You might not know what to do, but uh, it's kind of fun to do anyway. So that does our second of five golden lifts. Lifts die. So we just came from over here. So let's go inside this Canalet Castle. I want a rock just for the fun of it. Oh, didn't get to keep the rock. Oh, I want to lift this. Heck yeah. Oh, can't take it. Um, hello statue, how's it going? <laughs> Have you looked at Link's face when he does this? I just noticed. It's not very detailed. Whoa, Danger Dan, how's it going? Nice to meet you once more. And dogs and ah, uh, it's a family reunion from. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I found a th third golden leaf. Oh man, Dangerous Dan, you were guarding such a secret. Why am I so excited? I don't know. Torches and little symbols on the tiles there. I like little symbols on tiles. Well. Humph! It's found like the castle gate open! You can easily leave the classroom now! Wow, what if the narrator really had a voice like that? Can you imagine? I think I should do that from now on. Stairs! How's it going? So, these walls, they are very, uh, how's it going? Walls. So, yeah, walls. Okay, why do I remember that being suspicious? I don't know. <gasps> Look at that guy! He's got a freaking flail thing! Thing. 
Yeah, so anyway, no, we're at the top of the castle, I guess. Do, 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 top of the castle. Here we are. This is a pillar. You can lift it if you try. You might bring her back. And that will make you cry. We can do a moonwalk. Oh, doorway, you have opened. So, it must be under one of these pots, some sort of switch. Oh, hi, bombs. How's it going? Bombs, huh? Maybe we have to bomb the door. Maybe it will open in that situation. Nope. Yeah, this is kind of like, um... You know how he threw a pot at, uh, or a stone at the bird? Uh, well, yeah, let's throw a pot at a door. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, freaking, you, you got me with the flail there, Mr. Flail Man. Oh, see, 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 see. Risky business, risky, risky, risky business. Whoa, you take a lot of hits. Are you not... You need to die now, thank you. Golden leaf. It is now mine. Oh my cracked floor, so there's still one more leaf somewhere in the castle and I feel like it's those things that I was suspicious about. I think I may have to bomb them. Remember old old man old Rower said that I may have to bomb something or something? I don't remember. I didn't pay attention, he's an old man, a pedophile. You, you don't pay attention to old pedophile men. You just heed their advice, that's all. Okay, so plant a bomb. Oh freaking <laughs> some guy just popped out of the wall. So, uh, oh, I, uh, well, we gotta leave. It's all worth it when. Oh, God, talk to Richard about some key, I guess. So, I'll, I'll bomb this and, whoa, plant a kiosk. Nya, 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 stupid. Why do I always forget their names? Darknets. That is their name, guys. Remind me whenever I forget, because you know how I forget things. Oh, stairs, you make me progress such at slow rates. Danger Dan, though. You make it all worth it. Danger Dan. Friends forever. High five! Yeah, that's how I am. Octopi! And the stuff's gonna come out of the ground there. It's kinda scary. <laughs> beetles. Spider beetles. Spider beetles. So, uh, yeah, we don't need old Ryra to tell us what the heck to do. I already know. Oh, freaking got sniped by a freaking flying Octo Rock. I wonder why they're Octo Rocks, like in the original games. They don't look anything like octopuses at all. They do in like the the three-dimensional graphical games, you know, but not in these games and in the original game. Oh yes, frogman. <laughs> Très bien. Uh, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I see you have recovered all of the games now. Move this box and you'll find your reward. Okay, move a box. Whoa. I have the power of telekinesis. I can move it just by touching it. Dog. I love it when dogs just pop out of skulls and then I can grab the skull and say, Screw you, skull! And then I really do say, Screw you. And, oh! <laughs> Dog is in my. F up my pants. Ah, right, anyway, secret seashell. How's it going, seashell? I gotta get out of this place because this dog is trying to rape me. Yes, literal rape. Wait, jump. Jumping is... I already have that equipped, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Guys, don't judge me. Judgmentation is... Dog? Wait. So, uh, there's a skull. That's pretty great. I'm getting an email. That's pretty great. Oh, no! It's a parasitic worm hiding under a skull. That's... That's... Actually interesting. Eh, ever wondered? Like, like, the parasitic worms, they don't, like, move upward. It's kind of weird. So you can just do that and then get a fairy randomly from the pot and then get confused as to why that's happening. Okay, so now we're in the pothole field of freaking pots. Pot. Pothole field. So yeah, we gotta try to navigate this field that's full of these pot holes. Oh, tricky. Whoa. So up here maybe? Up in here. I don't remember the way. This doesn't seem to be the way though. I think we have to go over here. Here, here. This direction is a way that could be possibly a way to go. I just fell down a hole. I tried to escape, but I couldn't. It was a fairly bad fate for me. I will say that again. It was kind of a bad fate for me, indeed, indeed. What is over here? So yeah, so we can continue slashing grass. This is this is the most exciting type of conundrum I've been in intersecting lately so so how's it going guys what what, what games you've been playing lately 
I, s I know all peers do this sometimes, but uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> In soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. Oh my, that must mean we have to dig, right? I got a heart with a thing on it. Oh wait, it was a key. You've got the slime key. Now you can open the gate. Ook, yuk, 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 prairie. Heck yeah, and I guess I'll not show me getting out of this freaking place. Dang it, freaking things. Richard. Richard. So yeah, Richard. Richard's villa. You know that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. That would be inappropriate, but, uh, not really too bad. But, yeah. So we got a, we got a slam key. We got a slam key. And, uh, we can, like, instead of not going over here, we're gonna go over here. You know, go over here. See what's there. See what is this direction. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I'm dumb. The keyhole's on the other side. I'm retarded. Uh, but at least uh, I think there's a secret in the, the ground here. I think it's a shell. Yes, it is. <laughs> I found a secret shell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Or else. Basically, it's a threat. We already know it's gonna happen because, you know, the seashell. <laughs> seashell mansion. Spoiled it for us all. Uh, earthquake, earthquake, uh, tears open the ground, freaking PBR. Anyway, so that opened the, the freaking wall there. So, uh, as I travel around, yeah, so, uh, yes, um, not much to talk about right now. I'm gonna end this as soon as I get over there, because, you know, you don't want to start a new dungeon while people are, like, still, like, gravitating around small objects. You know, celestial bodies, etc., and stuff like that. If you know what I mean, nod your head and say good afternoon. So, yes. So, next time we will be going inside what is presumably the third dungeon. Look at that epileptic little shadow going on underneath the link. Oh man, water can certainly be amazing at times, and other times not. So, next time, dungeon, eyeballs, slime, little white donut things. <laughs> it's gonna be a rapid time, so see ya.